loves. I'm Jess from Body Life Apothecary. You can't see me, but I'm here, I promise. This is your reading for October for all of Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. One of my subscribers and one of the members of the Bahati Vibe tribe asked so sweetly if I could do this reading for you guys and it just resonated, it felt good. So hopefully maybe this will be something that you guys will be able to see a little bit more consistently on the YouTube channel. For those of you guys who aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I wanna invite you to do that because this reading is exclusively intuitive guided from the cards and from my own intuition. So it's not factoring in astrology in any way, shape or form. You can get astrology readings every week because I post my predictions and what it is I see for all of us as a collective on my YouTube channel once a week. So if you're subscribed, you'll be able to see that. Okay, so these are the cards of this that I pulled for you guys. I haven't seen them yet. And I'm gonna flip them over one at a time. This reading is intuitive. And again, it's for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first card I see for my caps is Peaks of Joy. We have the Emu. This is a good time to go on a new adventure partnership whoa freedom i'm loving this believe and trust before you go to sleep tonight say archangel michael please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust let me be filled with strength courage and confidence children peace convince yourself not others contentment and love yourself first along with the emperor, which was reversed, but I'm not reading reverse cards at the moment, and the strength card. Now, before I get started, and before I dive into this, I want to apologize for any outside noise. I love working with the doors open and the windows open, even though it's New Orleans and it can get kind of hot outside, but that's when I close the door. But with that comes a little outside noises and distractions. So if that is distracting to you and annoying to you, I apologize. So the first thing that's standing out to me is the Ankh, or I see an Ankh right now by looking at this card with the Emperor, and I'm also seeing the Infinity Sign. For me, these two together, they bring me to life. They bring me to, for my Capricorns, I feel like you guys are coming to life. I feel like you feel life returning to you. I feel like I mean, adventure obviously is one word that's coming through, but I feel like this is you feeling life being brought into your life, adventure, excitement, vitality, um, things that stir your passion, that things that stir your creativity, things that challenge you in a way that strengthens you and that you are going to enjoy. And that is there for, you know, for you to enjoy. It's a good time. It's, it's a, a space of joy and pleasure and, um, fertility is something that just came through. Abundance is something that's coming through. Oh, fertility makes sense with the children card here. For those of you guys that aren't trying to have children and that's not something that you're wanting for yourselves, I see this again as new energy coming in, a brand new, like we have two cards here and a little baby on the side of children. So we have a baby here and we have the children card here. So something is new, something is playful, something is light, something is jovial. Something brings joy and pleasure that starts this new path for you. It opens the door and it's all about pleasure and peace and having, you know, fun and enjoying it. Contentment. This is, the, the card of contentment says you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in God. I don't see this as you settling with the status quo. I actually am seeing you enjoying every moment for some reason for october i feel like for capricorn for my capricorn people every moment is so filled with challenges like good challenges and fun things and you know this joy these peaks of joy these moments of bliss and joy and pleasure and freedom and happiness that you can't even think too far into the future you can't think too far behind you're thinking about the present moment and you are just focused on that so I think that for some of you guys with this strength card and the emperor this could totally be connected to your career but in all stability so anything that creates a solid foundation for your future or things that you normally are contained to or that you're normally strapped toward strapped on but i feel like 
for this month, what you're committed to is legit this, this new journey, this new venture, this new gate that's opening for you. That is literally all about you having pleasure and freedom. This, these cards really remind me of Virgo's reading, which for the month of October, Virgos were being called to enter into a space of enjoyment and pleasure and no strings attached to that. Like they were, they're called to enjoy their life because they work so hard for the things that they have around them now. And that they've actually been denying themselves the pleasure of a lot of things because they're trying to do the right thing or they want to do what's reasonable. For you guys, for Capricorn, I feel like you need to convince yourself or spend more time um, convincing yourself that you know what you your your main focus your main priority is to be in a space of peace and freedom and releasing those burdens taking those things off even as i'm feeling this now like as i'm looking at these cards i feel like such a release i feel like you've been carrying these sandbags on your back you've been dragging them along whether that be a person um, your responsibilities, your career, your destiny, all these responsibilities, these things that you've been grabbing onto and holding onto, they've been weighing you down. Maybe it's been health issues, maybe it's been mental health issues, but it's what you're doing now is you've just, in the month of October, you're stripping yourself of that, you're releasing yourself of that. You're feeling free, you're feeling light, you're feeling playful, you're feeling joy again. Sometimes it's this partnership, this entering into this next journey, this adventure with a person or with a child or with a new project that brings out that joy for you. You have the freedom to create. You have the freedom to have fun. You have that freedom to live life way more lighter than you have, Capricorn. That's what you need to convince yourself of. This is not, you know, convinced, you know, it's not uh, tied to what others think, even though the card of partnership is here. This is about you partnering up with things that, and you spending time with things that really are coming in to give you joy and pleasure, that it's not about, you know, your responsibilities anymore. Your responsibility right now is to love yourself first. Your responsibility is to spend time in the present moment with what it is like every moment moment by moment because too far ahead in the past is going to give you anxiety too far behind in the future or in the or too far ahead in the future is going to give you anxiety too far in the past is going to give you depression and right now it's that present moment like just what we have right now is this present moment this joy this pleasure this light of energy like watching a comedy going for a bike ride um, going on a boat like there's there's a connection to water here there's a lot of water that I'm feeling like maybe like travel distance going on a new adventure saying yes to someone that is that you love that makes you laugh that brings light and like light energy into your life this is what I'm seeing is a priority for you when again when I'm seeing contentment I just feel like it's the universe your guides are telling you right now to focus on the present moment and to not rush any fur further. Like, what, what is the point of this? The point of this is because you have the freedom to enjoy it. The point of this is because this is coming into your life for the sole purpose of giving you this peak of joy, this bliss. You can't live your life in this high space and enjoy yourself if you are allowing the sandbags that you, all those burdens, those mountains to weigh you down and to stop you from being able to be lifted up if you've been weighed, weighed down by so many burdens, so much mental health issues that have been plaguing you, maybe health issues that have been plaguing you, those things are getting released. You now have are in a space of total freedom for pleasure, for joy, for vitality, for life. And it's infinite, it's infinite, it's abundant. This is what's coming to you right now. When I see believe and trust, and I also see convince yourself, not others, I really want to tell you that it feels as though, and what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling is that angels and your guides and God, the divine, knows that you are in a space right now where you things need to be lighter on your heart, on your soul, on your spirit. They know this. And there are blessings that are going to come to you, this peace that's going to come to you, this freedom, this joy is going to come from the divine. It's going to come from your angels and your guides working to make sure that you are okay working to make sure that you are, um, you have life, you have vitality, you have peace, joy, pleasure. Those are things that the, that God, the universe, whatever it is that you want to call it says, look, this is for you. 
you don't need to tell anybody you don't need to explain this to anyone but this is for you this is something that we it was already agreed upon it was something that was already declared it was already something that was written in the stars for you to receive well october is the month for you to receive it october is the month for you to actually believe and trust it and to not listen to what other people are saying to not listen to your own plaguing self-doubt your own self-limiting beliefs let's say this is a health condition that's been bothering you and that's how serious i see this for my capricorns is that whatever this is it's not something that's been light it's been something very heavy on you and it's not something that like you would have to go to others to get can like to convince or to be like okay yes you're free of this like this is something that let's say you let's say you know you have a, um, a a diagnosis that doesn't seem most promising and professionals will tell you this is just an example i'm not trying to scare anybody but medical the professionals within the medical field would be like well most people they have to live with this for the rest of their lives or they could be crippled by this well capricorn if i'm telling you right now like by all means listen to medical professionals but i'm also telling you that there are miracles that happen all of the time and some things are not in your fate some things are not in your destiny you are not doomed you have to believe yourself you have to believe and trust that some things are there truly because you need to have freedom you need to have peace you need to have life you need to have vitality you need to have ab abundance pleasure joy those are things that capricorn needs to hear that they are going to partner up with that they are going to receive it's not about thinking how it's going to happen because so much of your cards right now is saying stay in the status quo stay not stay in the status quo but stay in moment to moment to moment e take each moment as a gift because it is now for some of you guys it is health related but for some of you guys for others it's not that it's health related it's just been something that's been plaguing you and dragging you down maybe it's a relationship a partnership that you are becoming free of or maybe that relationship has like there is a break in it there is a switch in it that helps you both to soar to to like a, a heights that you didn't even know that could happen that it didn't even logically make sense that it happened. Well, October is a month that it's going to happen. This is the time for the new adventure. This is a time for newness and new energy. Let's say you've been free, um, free meaning like single, not tied to anything, not restrained to anyone. Well, sometimes over time, maybe that's not something that you want for yourself. Maybe you want to actually share your experience with others. And, and you are actually inviting partnership into your life. Well, October is a month for that. Let's say you are choosing to do a job that, is that you love, that gives you peace, that doesn't stress you out, that doesn't give you tension, or you have the freedom to work independently, and that gives you peace, that gives you contentment, that gives you love. That's a new adventure that, is that you're going on, going on. That's what you're partnering up with. But what, I, what is it I'm seeing, the moral of the story is, is that you are going to be connecting with something brand new with lighter energy for the sole purpose of the freedom that it gives you, the peace that it gives you, and the joy. And it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be something new. It's a door that's opened up. And as soon as that door opened up, you felt a weight lifted off of your shoulders. So with the Strength card and the Emperor, I really want you guys to know that these two cards are very much revolved around strength. But strength is not always the burden that you choose to carry or the burden that is placed on your shoulders or you don't have to convince others of how strong you are by carrying on something too much on your spirit you don't need to convince anyone of how strong you are you don't need to convince yourself of how strong you are don't you already know capricorn so right now i'm actually seeing that your strength is in you becoming a leader for yourself and you stepping into a space where you lay down the the, the burden you lay down the weight and you actually believe and trust that there is newness for you, there's a new adventure for you, there is abundance for you. Strength is all about connecting to the infinite source of potential and, and generosity that the universe is ready to give. It's not about forcing and fighting it and pulling it and pushing it in. Because remember, your card was reversed, the emperor. And with the strength card next to it, the strength card is not about forcing your will, it's about respect, it's about trust, it's about being gentle, the gentleness that is within strength, and somehow all of the pieces fall together. Because if you are too strong, then you turn into a Hitler, you turn into a dictator for yourself and for others. But everybody needs to have freedom. Everybody needs to have peace. Everybody deserves to have joy. Everybody deserves to have love. 
everybody has deserves to have contentment and the ability to go on their own adventure and that includes you so by holding on to too many things and weighing feeling the burden of that and not allowing yourself again convince yourself not others not allowing yourself to receive and to have freedom and peace and joy and pleasure and partnerships that are working together and not constantly combating against each other that's a part of being free being free to be who you are within your relationship, being free to be who you are when it comes to your purpose and your service to others, being free to be healthy, being free to come and go as you please without being pun penalized and punished. And the last thing I want you to hear right now is there is no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. This connects me back to the strength card, which is, look, there is no need to worry. You are being abundantly provided for. This is the infinity sign. You don't have to force it. You don't have to fight it because that would be the emperor reverse. That would be a sign of weakness. Not the good kind of weakness, not the vulnerable kind of weakness. The kind that it's like, look, trust, man. Believe and trust. And I also think for some of you guys, you are literally stepping into a space of your own personal power where you are finding contentment and peace by choosing to love yourself first and prioritizing yourself first. That is what is gonna give you real joy. That is going to be the real freedom. It's not about you living your life according to how other people see you, but how you see you and how you want and something about that births a new version of you. You're like a brand new child going on a brand new adventure. You could be 60 years old, 70 years old, 10 years old deciding, look, I'm gonna prioritize my own happiness. That is going to be the ultimate sense of freedom because me living in according to what other people want for me and what other people see for me is not freedom. Then I'm under a dictatorship. And I need to believe and trust in myself and where the universe is guiding me towards on this new adventure within my life. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, but then again, it's not even really about other people. But I think that anybody, like, it's just, it's like, that's the laws of abundance. Like when you love yourself and you're taking care of yourself, you just naturally link up infinitely, like the strength card. You just naturally link up with other things that are going to just fill you up. And that's what I see for Capricorns. So that's what I'm seeing for you, my babes. Um, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I post multiple times a week. I was going to say weekly, but I actually post more than that lately. So, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments how you're feeling and make sure to check your sun, your rising, and your moon signs if you need to. Okay, bye.